It is. All right, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Battle of the Games. Oh. And today oh. we are... Oh, that was a bug. I just ate a bug. I was like, there's no way Aries smells that bad. <laughs> <laughs> today we are here with Ark Nova, <laughs> Kenzie's number two game of all time. At least with bug, it was the medic. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's no bugs in it. Fucking Kenzie, do you want to explain? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Board and Scale Podcast, Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. Another vendor spotlight. At the penguins, the only one with any character. What you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. You know I don't play right, 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 right. In Ark Nova, you are building out your zoo, trying to raise up your appeal for people to coming in and buying tickets. And build up your conservation points, which is mostly through your animals and then reaching different objectives that are set in the beginning of the game based on the types of animals from different continents or like a specific type of animal that you have in your zoo. Um, when those cross, that triggers the end of the game and the difference between the two of them is going to be your score. Yeah, that's pretty much Ark Nova, right? That's pretty much Ark Nova. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. And we'll start with Dwayne's rating of Ark Nova. God damn. <laughs> I tell you what, when I tell you what, Ark Nova. I don't know if there's I don't know if there's anything out there that I love more. Besides Spoiler Blood on the Clock alert. Tower. Besides Blood on the Clock Ooh. Tower. Um, but Ark Nova, fucking fantastic. My favorite part, well, animal game, so it's got that bias right there already. Uh, I've worked in many of zoological facilities, so there's also that relevance. Uh, it's so good. Um, my favorite part is those actions. The way you take the actions is how you take you. There's one through five. The farther along that action card is, the stronger it is. You take that action. You slide it back down to one. Everything gets slid uh, up. So the timing on the way that you take your actions is very important. Also, having a bad turn in, in this game is fucking devastating. It's bad. Like you, there's there's a f not a free action. There's a gimme action pretty much where you can just slide any card down to one and take an X token, which is how you manipulate cards and stuff like that. You never want to do that, but when you do, it's like God, that's rough. Um. It's like, I know of one other game that does actions like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's more out there. Also, Ark Nova was my very first big game, like big heavy game. So there's that. There's that too. Did you play that before Brass? Mm-hmm. It was my first ever game that I think was above a three. Yeah. <laughs> um. But it has over 400 games. <laughs> it took oh it took lots of plays for me to actually like get it cuz this is one of the games where I was not good and I was losing badly every time but the want for me to get good at it was strong enough to where I was like I could I would play this all the time every time and now I'm good at it. I say I I say I'm good at it now. You're competitive for sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um, but man, yeah, I could talk about this game all day. The art, it's just pictures. Like, I don't know if they just got it for Google or whatever. <laughs> but oh, this game's awesome. I love it. 10. If I can give it an 11, I would. If I can give it a 12, I would. This game's so good. Ah, I play right now. Okay. Let's just start setting it up. <laughs> Come on, Drew. All right. Um, I really enjoy this game. Not nearly as much as I think probably anyone else here, but uh, that's a pretty pretty high bar, all things considered. Because, Dwayne, how many plays do you have? Ballpark? Uh, Ten. We should look up how many Including we have together. your BGA plays. I don't think. I, no, no, no. <laughs> Over fifty. Keep go. I'll check. Keep going. Yeah, Ken's. How many do you have? 
a lot. I mean, just in this year. It's, a, it's at least 24. Yeah. At just least. in this year, physical plays, we have 24. Yeah, no, and not, then BGA no, plays. I know you guys don't count them, but I'm sure it's a buttload. This year we have 19. Yeah. So. Okay. And that, but that's physical plays. The like, other that's five were at BGA. the end of last year. Yeah. Yeah. And then BGA, both of you guys, all of you yeah. play on BGA. and whatnot. I just don't count those, and you shouldn't either. Do you <laughs> Go back to the episode where we talked about How about you go play in person with someone and go see a physical human being? How about that? I mean, Dwayne had to play like 50 rounds on BGA before he could finally beat both of you. He, he did a, I hold the best score, by the way. He did the Rocky Balboa of, training montage of, of <laughs> this group. So even Rocky had put that out montage. there. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of... I'll let them talk about all the good things. I'll give my... my, my I think my, really my only my two critiques... Um, the game does have a couple uh, aggressive mechanisms. For the most part, there's not a ton of player interaction in the game. Um, really, the only thing that can people can kind of do is they can take objectives before you get there. They can take cards from the row before you get to them. Um, that's really about it. There's not a whole lot else where you can really mess with other players, except for certain animals have pilfer, pilfer. I don't, you know, pilfer, venom, venom and constriction. <laughs> And um, I think it's Venom in particular is the one. The money stealer. That's the money. Is that the one where you have to pay in order yeah. to? Yep. And Constriction makes them worth less, yep. right? They're less powerful. Yeah. What is the other one? Pilfer is you got to give somebody five. No, there's only one card that has there it. There you go. No, there's more than one. Granted, we did play Venom wrong for a while. We, we did. did. It's true when we had because there was two and yada, yada, yada. It doesn't matter. In a game where every, as Dwayne alluded to, every single action, every round, every dollar really counts, does matter. Money is very important. Um, all of a sudden, having these kind of feel like they're kind of tacked on to create this artificial player interaction, and they completely devastate another player's turn, um, is really frustrating. And some of them are also tied to, hey, are you above or below a certain um, po uh, point on your um, appeal appeal track or something like that? Um, and it's like, well, that's that's not really, you know, necessarily an indicator of how well you're doing because somebody could be further up on the conservation track, which is harder to advance on, versus being up on the appeal track just because they have more animals at that time. Um, so that's one thing I don't really enjoy um, at all. And I would love it if there was a like a reasonable mechanism to take that out other than just removing the cards. Um, I just don't really think there is. Um, is there? What? Uh, you looked at me like you might have like, no, there is. Like a way to, I mean, you could just play not play with them, but then the cards, like that's an ability that's baked into the cost of the card. So you yeah. lose that. Um, the other thing is, is that the, sometimes I guess the, there's a good variety of, of the player boards um, the ways that you can set up your zoo. They've been adjusted, by the way. They have? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you talk so about that. We, no, we don't have them. We need to... Oh. But I don't... Sorry to interrupt. Combined, I have 87 plays. There you go. Um, it does sometimes feel like you can just kind of get shafted with the choices that you were given for the, 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 the stuff to not be a way that you enjoy playing or not really something that's conducive to the cards that come out for you. Um, because there are a lot of cards in the game, which is both cool because there's a lot of, you're going to gonna be a different play every single time, but it can also be like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm going to do lizards, right? And you get a couple lizards early and then not another rest come out or whatever. Um, so that can be a little bit frustrating too. Um, Marine does solve some of the other problems. I'm sure you guys will talk about that. Um, I definitely recommend if you do ever play this game to get it with the Marine uh, expansion, Marine World expansion. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy it a lot. Um, I'm going to give it a nine. Okay. That was Kevin's rating and it is now my turn. I really like this game because it is animal game, as Dwayne said, and it, as it is very obvious by the cover of the box and also the description of the game animal game uh you, the fact that you're building out your own zoo and that it is always going to be different because your game is based on the cards and there's five thousand of them so 
your hand of cards will never be the same. In combination with the other starting, you know, aspects of the game where your association goals, it's, th- it's random ones every time, your final scoring objectives, random every time. The variation of it to me is like one of the top levels of I could play this game at all the time and never do the same strategy twice and never get bored. Com- combined now with the even more cards of Marine Worlds, the extra maps, the adjusted maps that there's even plans for more maps in the future. So even more playability. Really cool. My one gripe with this is that if you get really unlucky and you can't generate some kind of engine, it's a slog. And you feel, you can feel like, uh, we've played this game a lot, 24 times physical, tracked, and plenty more online. 42. 42. For just me. 42, or she's probably played a couple more than me, but I'm up there. And it's not, it's not much. I've probably only had like four or five plays where I feel like nothing is working and I'm just waiting for someone else to end the game. That kind of sucks. But that's my only gripe with the game. I otherwise love it. And I'm going to give it a nine. Your turn. Okay. Okay. Um, I love this game. Sebastian and I go back and forth, I think, with who wants to play it more. Um, there are some times where I just want to play it for a week straight. And then there was, oh my gosh, I don't even know how long it was where he was just like every single day. Hey, let's play this. 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 We played it, I think, once a day for at least, like, a week. Mm-hmm. Um, so we we definitely got to know it really well, um, which I think is just really cool to be able to do that with a game because there's lots of times where you get games and you play them once and then you don't play them again for a year. Um, so just being able to... Or ever. <laughs> <laughs> to really get to know how to play this game and learn, like, at least some type of strategy. And then we got Marine Worlds. Marine Worlds, I think, really heightened this game for me with strategy as well as with um, just the little pieces. It just made me, as weird as this is, it made me want to play it more. Um, It's not much. It's not anything crazy. But just having little pieces for the different different tracks, that's so cool to me. And Marine Worlds introduced that. As well as it introduced um, specialized action cards. So each game now, you get two different specialized action cards that changes the actual base actions of the game. That is huge because they're drafted. They're not going to be the same. And you get to draft three of them and pick two of them to keep. Meaning you're going to see, what, nine different cards? No. Three, four, five, six. So you'll see six different cards. Um, And out of those six, you'll keep three of them, pick two of them. Um, So you just have so much different... So many different ways to play on your turn between your different between your starting cards, your different action cards, your different maps, the different um, conservation projects that you're trying to achieve throughout the game. And honestly, yes, like their goals to go for, but you don't even need to go for those because you can go for something else if you get actually screwed with your starting hand and get nothing that matches those. It sucks and it can debilitate you a little bit in the beginning, but it is not like a like a game ending thing. And that's what I like about Ark Nova is there is so many different ways that you can go about winning and, or even just go about having a good game that it just makes it so enjoyable to me. Um, so this is, I pro- this is my number two. So uh, I don't know if I would give it a 10. Um, the, my biggest gripe with this game is the amount of time it can take when you have a full player game. Um, so <laughs> analysis paralysis is a real thing with this game. Um, and if you have four players and you know what you want to do on your turn and it takes you two seconds for your turn, you're just sitting there for another five minutes waiting. And then when by the time it gets back to you, you're like, okay, what was I doing? And with the way that the actions are kind of laid out, you might forget something. And then someone can hit a break, which is like a, Kind an intermission kind of thing. Yeah, an intermission kind of thing where you get income and it could completely 
change everything that you were trying to do after you had already planned out your next two turns. So that's one thing about having a bunch of players is a lot can change within your turn and then your next turn, no matter if you have a plan or not, um, which I think is it can be good, but it can also be really bad. Um, but that's probably my one thing, but I would still probably get a nine and a half. And so, yeah, this is a 9.5 for me. All right. That was a long-winded explanation. I'm sorry. That's totally okay. I really like this This game. is a long game. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was our collective review of Arc Nova, and you will see us and this game again in the ratings video at the end of the series, which you guys don't know this until I say it. This is the last... This is the last recording for the series. Yeah. We made it. We. Uh, technically. technically. May have Probably been, talking to the mic technically. May have had to be a review, <laughs> but yeah. So if you guys enjoyed our review, if you disagree with any of it, um, then keep that opinion to yourself. Otherwise, we like the video. We don't care. Subscribe. Just kidding, we do care. No, put comment in the comments. Comment yeah. that you 100% agree it. with each of our different opinions and that you have nothing but uh, great things to say about the game and us as people. Tell Dwayne he's wrong Because we are castles. friends, personally. All of us. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'll see you in the next one. Buddy. Bye. <laughs> well, one, 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 you. You watch you, it. Bud. Hey, dab me up. I'll see you. Bye.